I am telling you, if you have ever wanted to build your own drone that comes in a kit with almost everything done for you, it's like building a set of Lego, this is gonna be right up your alley. G'day, Stu from UAV Futures, and yes, that's right, this right here, the Lion Bee from Newbie Drone, is the longest, most flying, efficient craft I've ever seen, and also the easiest to build. It comes in a little kit form, it is the developer kit. By the time you put it together, which is gonna take 20-ish minutes, this thing is so efficient that it is gonna fly for longer than that. So what we're gonna do in this video, I'm gonna break it down, I'm gonna talk about what makes it special. Most importantly, we're gonna take it for a flight, and the big part about this one, it's flying around on some 18650s, so you don't need to have any dangerous lipos in your house. These batteries are ready, readily available. You simply plug it in here, you are off to the races, having fun with this FPV drone. So let's break it down, show you what you get, and it's also at the budget price of around 160 ish 165 US dollars, and it's doing some things a little bit differently as well. And then towards the end, there are some things I'd like to change though. Like it does have GPS. There's so many parts that are plug and play, like simply plugging in your camera, but there's also a few little things that could make it just that little bit better. Now, as a bit of an overview, if we throw it on the scales, it's coming in at about 66 grams. With my 3000 milliamp hour battery, it's 112, 113 grams. So an extremely light little craft. And the big one about this, if you hate building, but you wanna build your own drone and you're worried about soldering, this is about as easy as it comes because it comes in this kit form. So we're gonna break it down, what you actually get in that. I'm gonna put some pictures on the screen as well because as you can see, mine are together, but like within 20 minutes, it is so easy to build. You gotta get your main board, which is your flight controller, your receiver, and also your VTX. And then with some little plug adapters that come with it, you simply plug in your camera, which goes right here at the front, and also the GPS if you want to use it. I've been flying around without the GPS. You could take it off to save some weight, but it's nice to have that option there as well. And the real star of the show is this whole middle section, which is everything. This is your entire board and it's also got reverse polarity protection. So if you're worried about plugging it in backwards, look, I'll even do it here on camera. This always makes me a little bit nervous, but look, that battery's in backwards, flipping it over and now it's working. You can see some of the little lights and stuff going off there. So I do really like that. You've got your antenna coming out the top and also it's so easy. Like there's everything that is done for you can possibly be done by one exception, which I'd like to talk about. Even the props on the outside, they simply press down. You don't need to worry about screws or anything like that. I am telling you, if you have ever wanted to build your own drone that comes in a kit with almost everything done for you, it's like building a set of Lego, this is gonna be right up your alley. You can do it in 20 minutes. It comes with some instructions. They're pretty well laid out. It's very, very easy to follow. But there is one thing that I would like to change before I go and show you how this thing flies. Because flight is a totally different thing we can talk about. Like 20 plus minutes, I've seen some videos of this flying. It is gonna fly for the longest time compared to our traditional drones. That's because it's extremely efficient. It's got some very high density, uh, like 18650s are extremely high density. You also get all the little extras. So you're gonna need some zip ties, some tape, all that sort of stuff. It's included in the little kit when you buy it. You don't have to rush out and buy everything except for one. There is one exception, and that is the motor wires right here. The motors actually come with some little plugs on the end, like they should be plugged into something like the rest of the craft, but you're still going to need to solder your motors up to here. You're still gonna to need to break out the soldering iron, get your solder, connect the three motor wires of each part to the main board. I don't know why they've done that, because the kit works so well that you never have to solder. Everything else is plug and play, like just plug the camera in, plug the GPS in. The motors come with little plugs on them, I don't know why Newbie Drone made it so we can't just plug the motors in as well. That would be perfect, I think, for this kit, that if you wanted to, this is a completely free DIY build that you can do without any soldering. That would just, for me, be the icing on the cake. But anyway, let's go fly this thing around. And the big one that you really need to take note of is watch the amperage and also the flight times you're gonna get off this. Like flying around, I've got some Nitro Nectar right here, these 18650s. Mixed with this, it's like flight time for days. This is the most efficient craft we've ever seen. So let's go fly this thing around. And then back here, I'll talk about some little upgrades that I would like to do. So let's check it out in three, two, one. Boop. 
Okie dokie, here we go, about to arm. I want to mention a few little things. I'm going to do this voice over here because there's quite a lot to get through, but we've got our fly minutes down here, so just how long we've been armed for. And the other really important part, if we have a look down here in the bottom right, especially when we're doing that little sort of power loop or trick right there, our voltage as well as how many amps we are currently sucking down. So that is really important for this one because like this is a long range craft flying around on a single 18650 and it is absolutely crazy. We're not gonna watch this entire part because like we're flying for over seven minutes and I didn't even get a battery warning towards the end on a full punch out, but it's not gonna be doing everything. It's not gonna be a racer and it's probably not gonna be for freestylers as well. This is just for people who enjoy flying and want like an ultra lightweight, long flight time craft. So that's what we're gonna be looking at here, getting a little bit of break up. You'll see me go a little bit further as well, but you can see I am on 25 milliwatts. So a lot of this flicker, would improve if we just bump the power up, but look, I'm on 25 milliwatts. That's what we're gonna be flying around right here. So important part, the actual flight characteristics of a craft you have spent 25, 20 minutes building is insane. It was so easy to put together. Here we go, doing a few little flip, flippy floppies through the air. And uh, you need to fly this craft with a little bit of, I guess like forward thinking. It's not as agile as a big freestyle rig. It doesn't have the power. Here you can see going a little bit further than I wanted to because I forgot that I was on 25 milliwatts. And I was like, oh, actually I should probably come back before I go and do any long range. Even though it's got flight times today is to do that. But yeah, just cruising around. It is a fun little craft, but it's not gonna be breaking any speed barriers or anything like that. Um, but, I think I come out of some dives in just a little bit as well. It doesn't mean you can't have some speed and definitely more than enough for beginners. This is really designed though for people who want a bit of a different craft and mainly to fly on 18650s. Those batteries are really available. So let's see if we can do a punch out in just a little bit. And it doesn't have heaps of power as well. When you're coming out of a dive, you're gonna notice it's a little bit more difficult to, to pull out of that dive as well. So power definitely on the low side but it's what you can expect from a 1S craft, like a single 18650. Again, looking at the time here, we're about to tick over to four minutes and do I do a punch out just here to get that little bit of height? Let's see, where are we? Here we go. So that's probably pretty standard for a punch out. It really doesn't have too much power or anything like that, or especially when you're gonna be pulling out of some dives. But again, the speed, it's not like I was just hovering to get these flight times. So normally, most drones, that'd be out of juice if you're flying around like this. It's extremely efficient. Like the whole way that we skip through here, I think here I was trying to do some like quicker turns and you can see you do get some prop wash, some oscillations and those sort of heavier turns. But the point I'm trying to make, this craft, we are flying this, not trying to break any records and we're hitting five minutes and the battery voltage is still totally fine. You know, it's a bit like 10 amps, 10 to 20 amps, which is crazy. Uh, it's not sucking down any juice at all. So extremely efficient. That's a bit of a punch out. That's what you can expect. You know, the, the rates, you can dial that up to spin around. The camera actually we need to talk about. I would like to change this. This feels like a pretty low quality camera. I don't really like the colors. It was a bit of an overcast, gloomy day. You might be able to tune it a little bit better. But again, it feels like a cheap camera that they've put in here. That's probably reflected in the price as well for the whole developer kit. But overall... I think this kit does have a place, uh, I would upgrade the camera, but the flight times that you get on this on a single 18650 is, is like actually next level. So I'm gonna jump even forward around and you can see right here, we have not had a single low battery alarm, not even a battery warning or anything, no land now. We are coming up on six and a half minutes and I think towards the end as well, you can see I even do a punch out, just hoping that maybe we can get close to that battery voltage. Just here's a little punch out. And then you get a few little oscillations, but no warnings about the battery. You still have so much juice. So if you want crazy flight times, maybe you just enjoy flying around for a long period of time. This is like crazy amounts of flight time. So yeah, I think it's pretty cool. There you go. You can see seven minutes, 20 seconds. Alrighty, now uh, as far as upgrades go, I'm probably going to be removing my GPS, I only put it on here for the review, but I don't usually fly around with that. I would like a bit of a better Velcro strap that we've got in here. I don't really like these ones, like they just don't seem to tie anything down. I've seen some little TPU adapters and stuff that people are printing out, but overall, it's an awesome little craft. The biggest letdown for me is this camera at the front. Like I mentioned in that flight footage, it doesn't look the best. It is a cheap camera. Putting something like a baby retailer, I'll link some other camera options down here as well. However, if you do that, 
you're going to need a bit of soldering unless it has the exact same plug and that's one of the strengths of this kit just how easy this thing goes together everything is almost plug and play except for those motors on the outside which for some reason they've decided yeah we'll just keep a soldering iron for that so overall i like it I think it's really well priced. I love the flight times you get. It is so easy. It's like opening a box of Lego and putting it together. If they could just change those little plugs on the outside and maybe improve the camera, it would be delicious. And for the 20 minutes of flight time, like this is the most efficient craft we have ever seen in FPVs. This is made for just cruising around, having some fun, and ultimately getting some crazy long flight times on 18650s. So anyway, I'd love to know what you think. Go check out this like little buyer's guide if you're new to FPV and as always, happy flying.